hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new tutorials and today i'll show you this sort of social media template i got this design in adobe illustrator but i want to show you how to make this one in adobe photoshop so let's get started if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so going to the photoshop already i made making some templates over there so one thing is that going to the file and going to the new options from here uh, we'll take an artboard which is uh, 1200 at 1200 we'll make this one 300 pixel per inch and hit the create button here is our square shape so at first we have to make this the round three shape and here the logos and everything and here is some textures and everything so going to the photoshop and then uh, going to the shape tool or rectangle tool drawing some rectangles or square shape which is uh, like that so i just uh, took here some recognizable color and making that copy by pressing alter option button and making this one smaller these two and press alter option button that's fine press ctrl command t and making this one smaller so at first adjusting the gap between from here so you can take another uh, like a uh, rectangle or another shape which is uh, other color to make the that thing to proper alignment and everything so i'll make this one rotation that's fine so it will be like that so building over there so all the things i'll make it group and press ctrl or command a and making this one middle of the artboard that's fine right press and here we'll make this one ungroup that ungroup layers that's fine now time to make those things round so a from the keyboard and if you want to carve all the stuffs except this so don't worry about that here here is some pixels it will show you how many pixels you want to make around so here i'll make this one 25 pixels that's good and this and those things as well 25 pixels and those things 25 pixels that's fine so now i want to make this one not to curve that's why press a again and press the option button and just make this one like that and similar to these things so i don't want to make this one curve press the option button and make this one like that so that is the corner and all the things are shaped uh, like around here press a from the keyboard and press the alter to make this one like that our shape is ready now let's see what is uh, over there here uh, here is our text so making the copy of this text so you should or you should try our test to bakery and cakes okay and now going to the text tool and uh, actually it should be the upper side and this one should be the down side okay or you can make those things press ctrl or command t make this one flip vertical yeah it will be the easiest way to make those things proper like a gap over there and like that that's fine now making the color like that will change the color so we'll provide the shape that is the upper smaller shape so providing the name shap shape and this one that is another shape shape and we'll make another color like that that's good and this one will be our photo shape so shape for photo that's fine now i already copied the text and pasting over there so taking text and pasting over there press ctrl command t make this one a little bit of bigger that's fine yeah. and now here is uh, the shape uh, actually that is the icon 
of some crops and everything so copying this one and control command v and make this one smart object so why i made this one smart object because of if i want to edit something uh, later you have to just press over there and you can change up any sort of colors and everything that's why i made it like a, a smart object uh, like vector smart object icon that's fine and now we'll change the color of the shape here the color of the shape is like that so we'll copy the rgb code or hex code so control command c going to the photoshop and control command v that's fine and now time to copies and everything the downside of the things actually those so one will make copy control command c and here text tool and control command v so making those things bigger actually we should maintain the text uh, size here is 9 i'll make it 10 that's fine and make that things in the middle of the artboard and here should be 10 that's fine and now time to change up the color of the shape so that is like this color hex and we'll copy those things color code and now we'll paste the color code over there and hit ok that's fine we'll take other uh, things like uh, demo text in the lorem ipsum so text size like that we'll add up those text size according to our uh, like here we'll make a shape under that and we'll paste it like that so we'll change up the shape uh, or font size which is 8 or 6 is good that's fine okay we'll removing that and i'll make this one a little bit of bigger that's fine so you can change up the orientation of the text we'll make the text orientation like this that is sober and now we'll copy this icon Control command c and going to the photoshop and control command v and the smart object will make it smaller and provide our place over there okay now time to add some like uh, those things like uh, the contacts and read more and everything here is read more option copying the those things and pasting over there control command v will make the font size like 8 that's fine and now like those things 1 2 3 4 5 6 copy those things and in this case we'll make this one smart object and making those things smaller okay that's fine we'll replace those things later okay we'll change it up press control command t to change it up that's fine and making this one into the upper side if we want we can make this one five that's good Press Ctrl Command T and make this one a little bit bigger. That's fine. We shouldn't make this one bigger because of the shape must be like that. That's fine. And we'll make this one smaller. And now we'll place the barcode. Ctrl command C and Ctrl command V smart object and placing over there so this Ctrl command D if you want to make this one a little bit bigger 
you can do that okay that's good and now here is our contact options so copying those things control command v and making this one rotation like that and making a little bit of bigger so the text should be like that that's fine now time to adjust the photo or replace the photo going to the file and going to the place embedded options i already uh, made some bakery photos by the help of the mid journey here is some bakery and placing over there that's fine make this one smaller according to this shape that's fine and press the alter option button and hold it and mask it out that's fine and now here is the logo of that and that copying those things and going to the photoshop and convert to smart object actually we should make this ungroup at first okay now those thing is ungroup and copy those things and control command v smart object make this one smaller okay placed over there so in this case press control command to press ctrl command t to make the shape bigger okay and our photo will be bigger that's fine okay it should be the down alignment yeah that's fine now time to add those shape which is like a background shape ctrl command v smart object and make this one a little bit of bigger that's fine okay now our template is ready but uh, we need to sort out or make the group so this one actually this text this shape and not this one okay these three things group one meaning the upper text or like uh, communication text this one this one these things this and these and this and another thing is lot of some demo text so we'll make those things history that's fine now that is the logo we'll take this shape to the upper side group that is the logo making another group logo okay that is the photo so providing here name photo making those things in a group photo and the vector object will just giving the name design element okay and here we'll provide a solid color which is a little bit of like this that's fine and taking into the downside of the layer that's fine now making those things into the bg that's fine our design is ready now we'll save it in a photoshop so i'm saving here back at psd now i'll save this one into the jpeg version that's fine and hit ok now we'll do mock-up of this uh, design so i already downloaded a mock-up uh, from the free peak and uh, we'll do the mock-up for our portfolio or like uh, uh, in a showcasing product showcasing uh, whatever do you want 
so here is our mockup 3d okay here is our mockup and now double press in a smart object I'm going to the file and going to the place embedded options I'm going to the download options where we saved already that's fine and saving this one and now time to turn off this and changing up the background color according to this or according to this that's the good color for using and saving this one into the jpeg version for the portfolio or you can make the showcase or you can post it in your social media so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query or request please do comment in my video comment section until the next video asmr signing out stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers and bye bye